This is awesome, you guys. We're playing the Orpheum. I can't even count how many bands have played here and then ended up being huge. But wait until tonight, man, when this place gets packed with record execs. We're gonna be legends. Eat up, boys. Because after tonight, everything changes. Last night was supposed to be a really big night for us. It was gonna change our lives. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure it did. Who are you and what are you doing in my mom's studio? Your mom's studio? This is our studio. The whole neighborhood could hear you. Wait, pe people can hear us play? Yes! I mean, what kind of ghosts are we? Who cares, man? People can hear us play. Guys, you aren't supposed to be out here playing alone. If I had my guitar, I'd play for all these people right now. I just, I wish I had my guitar. But it's like I always thought, our instruments are attached to our souls. I mean, boys, the game isn't over yet. I wonder why Julie didn't tell us she could shred on the piano. And sing, that girl can sing. If getting back into music is what you want, then you gotta go for it. I wouldn't have given you the song if I didn't think you were gonna rock it. Now, there's a piano on that stage with your name on it. Are we not gonna talk about what just happened? Yeah, the whole <laughs> school saw you. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, is this really happening? Just go with it. The important thing is, is that we rocked that place. They were loving you. Are you kidding? They loved us. Man, I said we invite Julie to join Sunset Curve. We need you and you need us because you need music. But three guys just found out that they had a bad 25 years. And then they found out that the one thing, the one thing they lived for in the first place, they can still do. I think I know why we're here, okay? All ghosts have like unfinished business. So we need to do our unfinished business so that we can cross over. Why would we do that? I'm just saying, this is like our second chance. All we need to do is get Julie to play with us. With Julie, we can play on stage again and be the band we never got to be. Whenever I get a thought or something, I write it down and get it out of my mind. Like lyrics? You need to realize how insanely talented you are. Now she's got music back in her life, just like us. There's some Sunset Curve songs that we want to show you. Ooh, show me now. It's a classic Trevor Wilson song. Nope, it's a classic, our song. Pure Sunset Curve. Never even heard of Trevor Wilson. That's Bobby. He was our rhythm guitarist. What were his other hits? Get Lost. Yeah, I wrote that. Long Weekend? Yeah, Luke wrote that one too. Trevor's songs are kind of big to me. He's the one who introduced me to rock. Yeah, Luke introduced you to rock. Bobby's house is ridiculous. It's not about the money, it's about the music. It's not about the tips, Alex. It's about playing music, connecting with people, making a difference in their day. I want that connection with everybody. What he did is steal our legacy. An old bandmate stole from us and we want to confront him face to face. There is one ghost who might be able to help you guys. He's, he's kind of a big deal. What if I were to tell you that with a wave of my hand, you could share the spotlight with me and join my house band? Well, we already have a band. Julie! Well, if, if Julie's not in the band, then... There is no band. I just wrote our names on the playlist for tonight. I'm getting a little worried about her. He keeps forgetting that Julie quit the band. We need you in the band. Of course you do. Because without me, no one can see you guys playing. When you're done performing, you disappear. You cease to exist. No bows, no, no soaking up the applause, no real connection with the audience. But our music, right? It's like an energy connects us with people. And they can feel us when we play. People, the actual, actual people, people can, can hear, hear us play. play. They can't see us, fine, but they can feel us. Well, it could be cool to play here. Oh, it, it's not just here. But we got this with you. We don't need him. I thought that the music that we were writing was special. But you're too obsessed with your past to even care. I do care. There's only one thing that you care about, and that's yourself. Dude, she didn't mean it. We wanted you to know that Luke isn't as selfish as you think he is. Yeah, you've got him all wrong. You remember that song, Emily? Who's Emily? That one's not dog-eared.
Can we at least show you who that's actually about? Emily's his mom? Yeah, Luke comes here a lot. I never knew Luke was hurting this much. It's even worse because when he died, he left on bad terms. You know, his parents didn't want their 17-year-old in a rock band, so... My folks always regretted buying me that guitar. He just left. He never got the chance to make up with them. That's why Luke was so angry. And that's unbelievable. Okay, he can take all the credit and he doesn't even mention us? If Trevor had given Luke credit for writing all the songs, then, uh, then his parents would have known his dream was worth chasing. They would have been so proud. We love our band. We have a band. And Luke does too. But what about my offer? It's very cool of you, Mr. Covington, but like I said, we already have a band of your own. We have a new band, a new sound. Okay, that's what we should be focusing on. When did you come back? I realize how important music is to all of us. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday. It's a, it's a birthday cake for Luke. But I'm worried about you. You don't have to be. I know how hard it is when you want to speak to someone you love and can't. But Luke's hurting so much. I wish I could help him. I don't even know what I'd say to her, even if she could hear me. Yes, you do. You've already said it. Then I think your son may have written this song for you. I didn't have many regrets in my life except for running out on my parents, especially my mom, so thank you. That was perfect. This is an interesting little relationship you and I have. I don't know, man. Sometimes a little fire can make things better on stage. Like you and Julie. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Everyone can see the way you look at her when you sing. You guys ooze chemistry. I, I wanted to tell you that I, I, I think you make me a better writer. I think we make each other better. Look, we have the echoes during the chorus now. When Julie comes in with the melody, it, it's gonna sound perfect. Feels like we should be like celebrating or something. What do you guys wanna do? He's threatened by you. He wants you under his control. I mean, you're the only ghost that can be visible to lifers without his help. So we have no choice? We have to say goodbye to Julie, give up everything that we built together, and work for Caleb. We don't want to join the little club. If you guys could just figure out what your unfinished business is, you do it in time. You could cross over and be free from all of this. We figured out that we have unfinished business. That's why we came back as ghosts. Someone once told me that you don't ask for permission. You book gigs by doing. What is it? We have to play the show that we never got to play. You don't know if playing the Orpheum is your unfinished business. Do you really have time to make that mistake? I know this isn't how we wanted things to turn out, but we gotta be all in tonight. This is our second chance at playing the Orpheum. You Legends on three. One, two, three. Legends. Legends! But we're not giving up music. We can play again. That's a gift no musician would ever turn down. No music is worth making, Julie, if we're not making it with you. How can I feel you? I, I, I don't know. What I just felt in there actually made me feel alive again. But he lived doing the one thing he was born to do. Not many people find that. But Luke did.